Hey, it's Del Jackson, Ella Hoop Zoom. Uh, special guest today, Coach Anthony Hall from Solanco. We missed him at Media Day, but we got him like right before tip off. How you doing, Coach? I'm doing great, Del. Thanks for the invite. Good man. Hey, hey, second year. Tell us, tell us a little bit about first year to second year. What you guys did this summer and what's going on? Oh wow. Um, first year to second year is really just you know continue to try to get better every day and try to implement, try to make sure the younger guys are understanding what's going on. Um, you know, some of the older guys, it's like force feeding a cat. You know, you're trying to, you're trying to make sure that their, their, their learning curve, their learning curve shut down like two years ago. So seniors usually have a hard time still making changes. Um, but I've got a great group of kids. They are working extremely hard. Um, this summer we did a lot. We were at the Nook. We were at, um, we went to York College's shootout. We did uh, Albright team camp, which we do every year. Coach Ferry at Albright's a mentor of mine. He gave me my coaching start. Um, so anytime I get a chance to get my team to Albright, we go. Um, and then really the biggest thing for us, um, because of me being the AD here, there's sometimes in the fall, time's limited. Mm -hmm. um, so I do 6 a.m. workouts. And this, yeah, and... To the boys' credit, we averaged probably 15 to 20 kids showing up four days a week at 6 a.m., just going through ball handling, shooting, um, you know, getting in the gym, and then getting in our weightlifting class. So the boys have been after it. Um, I'm hoping to continue to try to keep the curve going. Year two is always the most challenging year, um, I feel, of a rebuild. Um, you know, we're going we're gonna to miss a couple of guys from last year's team, especially Tyler Berger. If you look at our stats from last year, Tyler Berger, when he went down with our concussion, with his concussion, we lost eleven straight, um, and we were, we were what I think we were six and six, or six and five when he got hurt. Yeah. Um, so we were competing really hard, and we were giving up forty five points a game. Then he went down, and it jumped to fifty six. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to say for when you see that stat: one guy goes down, and your point differential goes up by eleven. Yeah. you know you're missing a huge part of your defense and your offense. So, yeah. you know, we're just – we're going in. We're focusing on us. We're focusing on going in every day trying to get better. That's what our, our goal is this, this year. Without doing all your roster, give me give me some of your key players this year that, that you're going to depend on to to have have a successful season. Uh, number one guy is Brock Osborne, our big man in the middle. He's a senior uh, senior center. About six six. I know you're big on heights, so I'll give you a couple of heights now. <laughs> uh, he's about six five, six six. He's had a tremendous summer. Um, he he pushed through. He pushed through a lot of a lot of injuries from last year. He could hardly get up and down the floor. He had a double knee injury halfway through the season, um, and you know through his hard work and commitment, he he's pushed himself. Where there's a lot of Division threes looking at him right now, um, so I'm expecting some big things out of him. Um, Noah Bailey Jr. coming back. He's about 6'3". Um, he is going to – He he's one of our leading scorers. He'll continue to probably be our leading scorer. We'll run a lot of stuff through him. Um, and then two guys I'm expecting to have some um, – two young guys I'm expecting a lot out of going to be Isaiah Wright, our point guard, sophomore, and Nolan Wagner, sophomore shooting guard. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, so we're going to be young. We're going to be young in some very key positions, but we're deep. Uh, we're deep with our senior class, like Chase Soto and Trey Riley with two key guys that are seniors that would be role players for us. We're expecting a lot out of them. Um, another young man named Caden Tilly is a sophomore who will probably be coming off the bench. He's a backup combo guard. Um, you know, we're, we're just, we're going to be young, but we're also going to be deep, which is different than what we had last year. I felt like we were seven guys deep this year. I feel like we're going to, I'm going to be able to play 10 or 11. That's so good. we'll see how it goes. Good, good. Who do you open up with this weekend, Coach? We are at Octorera playing Twin Valley at 6 o'clock on Friday night. Okay. And then you play – you already have the matchup for a Saturday night as well. Yeah. they Similar to our Christmas tournament, uh, Coach Lambert had a, a team back out and can only play one night. Um, so we're going to play a round robin. We're going to play Twin Valley on Friday and play Octorera on Saturday night at 730. <laughs> nice. Nice. And then you and I talked off camera about your uh, Christmas tournament. You had, you had some shuffling on that. Can you give our fans some ideas of what's going on at your Christmas tournament? Yeah. You know, typically at a tournament, you get four teams and you guarantee two games. Um, down at our play, place, we run a 
boys girls tournament. So there it's all day basketball, which for, you know, for our trainers who love wrestling, it's not a good day, but for all of our basketball guys, it's a fantastic day that you walk in the door at 11 o'clock. First game's 1130 with JV and we're rolling. Yeah. Um, and similar to what coach Lambert had, we had a team that only put us on for one day, not knowing it was a two day tournament. Um, so we had to shuffle around and, um, we are playing, uh, Columbia on the 28th, December 28th is our first round matchup with Kennerdale playing twin Valley. And then the next night, Columbia only comes for one night. Uh, the next night we have, um, we play twin Valley at seven o'clock and KD will come back to play Daniel Boone. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, thank you for taking the time. Thank you for taking the time. I know you're busy. You got you got two hats and you got you got the AD and the basketball job. And yes, uh, sir. We're looking forward to seeing you. And in fact, we should see you this Friday. Uh, I think Andy's coming to check you guys out. So thank you, coach, for your time. Appreciate it. All the best. I'll get to see you someplace. I saw you last year at Donegal. It was it was a good game. And then you did lose the Burger Kid and things changed for you. So Yeah, absolutely. So I appreciate the time and getting me on. All right, buddy.